Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be taking advantage that supposedly uh, it's supposed to be overcast uh, all day till like one o'clock in the afternoon. So it is 8.20 in the morning and I'm just gonna start just cleaning all around the fence there and you know, just um, yeah, picking up all of that over there. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So. I'll show you guys what that looks like when I'm done and I'll show you maybe how the plants are doing over here on this side there's Sammy and yeah that's it so let me get to that and yeah you know um, guys one of the things that's been bugging me about recording is lately this is the phone that I used to record is a new iPhone. It's before, I think this is the 11 that I have. And um, what's it called? It has three cameras. It's really good for recording. The only thing I notice is, and I don't know if, um, I have to check if it's iMovie doing it or if it's the actual video doing it. But I notice in other people that um, I follow that record, Whenever they start recording, their voice starts low and then it adjusts itself at a normal volume. So that's one of the things that's been bothering me because I'll have people tell me, oh, I can't hear you. And it sounds like the volume goes. And if I, you know, put videos together, clips, you'll see it. it'll go up and down, up and down. I do try to fix that every, you know, I try to remember every single time, but it is hard to remember. So um, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm gonna try not to worry about it. If I catch it, I catch it. If I don't, I don't. I apologize. And that's it. So, so far I cleaned that pot all along there, all along there. Uh, I was looking at this and I just wanted to show you guys. I would say that things are pretty happy. Yeah, they're pretty happy. So I just got to continue cleaning here and um, I'll continue to show you as I go.
Okay guys, I'm finally done just with the cleaning. I haven't even gotten to address pots and stuff like that. So um, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna show you now what it looks like clean because I'm gonna take a break. I don't know if I'll end up having to do it tomorrow or in the next couple days, but I just wanna show you how clean it does actually end up. It ends up really clean. Yes, I do all this by hand, the rock. I do it all, look, a leaf already fell. I do it all by hand. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I did want to wash that pot, but I'm just tired already. It is 12 o'clock. I've been out here since 8.20. So I'm done. I weed whack the pavers and I switched those planters around because someone suggested it because I was saying that this one flowers so much and this one doesn't. So someone suggested wanted to switch them around and I didn't. I don't know. Hopefully there'll be a difference. I don't see why there will be a difference, but I did that. I also need to pull out the jade out of this planter because it is not happy there. So I just need to take it out. This one is really, really happy and I would like to get more of it. So that is really happy. But um, yeah, for now, I'm content with how everything looks. I need to take a break. I'm tired. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's things I have to do inside the house as well. So I'll show you guys um, when I can the rest. So I just wanted to show you guys that I actually got it all cleaned up the other side not even to mention because i've cleaned that side and it just you know keeps raining and stuff keeps moving so yeah anyways look at this beauty look at how happy she is you should see the difference and they're the same exact plant look at the leaves the way they look right because it gets a little bit less sun and then these look like big chunkier leaves uh, thicker leaves because it gets more sun um you can see it more on the other side i have another one the ghost plant and then you can see really the difference okay guys i uh, will continue later on guys, let's see if i can do this one hand so right now i just have an old sponge and i'm just and i just look for any extra soap that i have i have this soap inside the house uh, it's supposed to be like um See, it's more powerful whatever anyways you could probably use a better spray that's meant for, or um for mold or yeah mold. this is pretty much mold i guess and maybe not spray because you don't want to get it on the plants maybe you spray it in your sponge and then just scrub it um probably if i had a brush it would be better because it would get into the little itty bitty cracks but I didn't, I couldn't find a sponge for outside. So yeah. What did I say? Brush, brush for outside, not a sponge. For outside. So yeah. So basically, this is what I'm doing right here. And then I'll rinse it off and see if I need to scrub more. As you can see, it looks much much better than what it did so now i'm just gonna go ahead and go through these and show you guys what they're looking like and i don't know if i have any input if i will be doing anything i'll let you guys know changing anything so yeah so uh these here one second here um since i moved them this is a piece i just laid there they are doing better they're doing way better than what they did they were doing so they're happy here and um you can see new growth there so it's growing all that out i did spray it uh with a spray um i gotta try to uh remember to show you guys the spray so i need to do that now if this one's still struggling it's just very sensitive to water so yeah still struggling we'll see um this one here uh, it's recuperating somebody had told me that um initially the way it looked it was attacked like by um what's it called spider mites i think and i sprayed it with the same spray i've been using and you can see new growth there it's much better it's actually been happy also out here with all the rain this one as well so um i'm leaving them out i'm letting them get the rain because it's doing better 
this one i recently moved here because um i feel like it needed a little bit more sun to dry up so it's there this one i also moved over here uh and it's better it was over there on the other side where there was a lot of just not enough light and so yeah this one as well i moved over here it's doing much better over here it was in front of the greenhouse and it was just dropping like pieces like this so it just looks better right now here obviously this is the arrangement that i shoved a bunch of plants in and it is doing very very well look at that super tall super pretty and yeah I, I mean for what it it all the rain that we're getting it's doing good you know so humidity rain heat because it's been really hot as well um this i have to keep an eye on because i'm constantly battling scales i can see a new one right there so i have to spray it um with something so yeah this um you can see that it's been a little bit tortured with the rain and sun and i probably accidentally sprayed this without realizing i mean that's the only explanation i can give for this i don't recall spraying next to it but maybe i did i don't really recall so you see the speckling on the farina so yeah this one is loving life i don't know this plant i've never had it be so happy um until now there's two kinds in here you can see there's this one which i think is firestorm and then golden sedum and you know i realized golden sedum and firestorm they like a combination they do better with um uh, a little bit more shade you know it needs sun but a little bit um not so many hours or not no afternoon sun i guess i would say well this one gets a little bit of morning sun then shade and then it gets late afternoon sun so yeah this beauty here has grown oh my gosh and it literally the new growth is perfect i'm like constantly looking at it making sure no bugs make it look like this see those marks so i'm just praying it stays stay pretty stay pretty anyways um, here I moved many plants as well here thinking that they might do better Sammy stop it so I might move them to the other side because I think they'll probably grow a little bit better over there Sam come here Sam so here are these two and these two are doing great this plant is really resilient so it's just like my ghost plant my California sunset in whatever setting they are so far they've been good whether they're getting a lot of sun a little bit less sun a lot of water they look good they're just like that you know this cute little paw that i have put together um is doing really well here my daughter had pa painted this pot for me so cute and it's really happy here so for now i'm just gonna leave it right here because it's happy this one is doing okay it's really long um either i need to put this elevate this so that you can appreciate the plant or repot the plant so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with maxi and i just want to show you guys you see this it's two days after cleaning it two days two days you see we've been getting a lot of wind and storm but that's how it is can't do nothing about it so yeah i might move some of these around to see I mean, this one's doing really good here, so I'll leave that alone. I'm not gonna bother it because it's doing better. Maybe it needs to be repotted actually. But that one, some of those other ones need to be moved. That one is doing super good, except for the one in the back right there. No bueno, but I don't know. This one's also happy where it is. Look at these. The new growth looks good. This one is super, uh, doing super well. All that's new growth. I've been like trimming and propagating and look, it splits here, so it's good. This one is doing okay as well here. Um, this one as well. 
this one I need to I don't know move it somewhere better and um, maybe repot it as well this one is doing good look at that see how big this thing is it's so hidden here you can't really appreciate it but it's really nice I should like actually but these are all stuck together I should move a piece and try to like um I don't know how to grow in a separate pot so it can get really pretty this is doing amazing it is everything is happy look how happy everything is happy except for this little piece here okay we have a dead a, a dead leaf but i think um the plant is okay there this has been growing like crazy super good i need to clean this so it's doing really good this is doing nice look at the, the same plant i told you earlier that's got new funky looking growth <laughs> this has grown a lot i don't know what happened here i could only assume that what can i i don't even know what what could have fell on there i don't remember anything falling hitting that so i can't say that anything fell maybe the iguana bit it i have no idea but yeah i made a little boo-boo there doesn't look too good but what can i do anyways oh this is doing good and yeah i just gotta just come in here and just take out the pine needles it has grown a lot and all these are doing well you can see the california sunset is really green it's not getting that much sun i would say or maybe it's just too much water that's why it's green this is doing good too lots of growth look at that really pretty this is a calanchoe i don't recall the name i i did do an arrangement a video on this arrangement arrangement so i probably said the name there but these are doing really good as well this, do any of you have this indoors if you do and it's doing well with um just bright light let me know um i would have it inside too this is doing really good except it's getting too big too too big so i might cut some of it back because it's just too big and propagate it it's leaning over and all these are growing really well so i just need to do that look at these back here they're super happy so that's really good this um has gotten like a really pale green i don't know why i mean it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it it's just that really pale green this pot also with a bunch of random plants is doing well this palida is doing really well i don't know the other name of it this was sent to me by another fellow youtuber spanish channel um these things are here because i need to do something i need to put them somewhere where they could be happier well they were moved here and they do look a little bit better but i need to probably move her to the other side this is also um doing okay could look better <laughs> look at that little baby lizard there look at him so tiny let's see if i can get him look at him see right here he's gonna stand still like like i can't see him <laughs> anyways uh this is doing really good sometimes i think i don't know if it gets enough water because you see that the root air roots so aerial roots so i don't know if it doesn't get enough water sometimes um it's been raining and I don't, so I don't know if this is covering it and then it's slightly underneath the palm tree. So I'm not sure about that. So we'll see, I don't know. This is doing good here too. This is doing really well as well. This I need to take out cause you can see some of it gets burnt. I think I'm gonna take that and probably put it right here and it's gonna get just like a lot of bright light, no sun. And then over here, I, you know, I, I showed you a few days ago when I cleaned it. Um, this is a continuation of this video. And um, yeah, I showed you that everything was clean and now leaves are falling back again. But 
that was to be expected. This one is growing really nice. She's super happy that I repotted her, so she's doing really well. This fell, it broke off because the wind knocked down my big old euphorbia and it's it has roots already. It has roots, little tiny roots right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. See that one right there? So I need to pot it up and spray it so it doesn't start to grow anything funky. That, I don't know what's wrong with that. You know, it's like it's not getting enough water, but it rains all the time right now. So it's like, why do you have these black marks? I don't know. This one is super happy, super big, too heavy for itself. It can't hold itself up. It is so pretty. It, it doesn't get a lot of sun and look at how pretty it is. It's a, um, I believe people think that it's a super bum. It's either, yeah, it's a super bum or a Morosaki. I don't know, one of those. But yeah, those are doing okay in there and they could look better, but since they don't get a lot of sun there, that's why they look like that. Um, these are doing well the um the pearls look at how fat they are they're doing good and the raindrop this one some spots are really chunky and then some spots are a little dry it's just probably because the plant got so big and it's um it's root bound so it's just not absorbing water in some spots or maybe i don't know i just know that she's really needy this this plant does like a lot of water so it could just be that a few days of no water it gets funky like that this aloe is doing really well here she looks really pretty it's a hedgehog aloe or blue hedgehog blue aloe something like that it's really pretty um this one on top it may not look the best but from this view it is growing really nicely it's happy this as well is doing really well you can see how fat it is because they it's been getting a lot of rain so yeah um this one too has been doing much better since i brought her outside mistletoe cactus if anybody has this and if it's bloom for you let me know what the blooms look like this one is the same piece <laughs> of the other one i keep trying to find a spot where it won't get burned and it's still getting burned so i need to move it again maybe i need to bring it inside the house and if you guys have this inside your house let me know if it does well with just bright light and nothing else so i have to bring this inside um that is doing really good outside I mean, it's trying to. This is such a needy plant, let me tell you. It like wants, I would say, water all the time. And it's been raining. It's like, what's wrong with you? I shoved it here, kind of underneath the palm, so it gets shade and, and water from the rain. But it's still, you know, being a little pestery. This is really old. <laughs> I need to redo it. I really do. I need to redo it. I mean, the, what's it called? The elephant bush is doing really well. Everything else just needs to be cut off and, and redone. This one as well, it's really old, but these, you know, can be so sensitive that they look so cute. I just leave them alone. I do. I just don't want to mess them up or lose them. So I just leave it alone. It's doing fine. This ghost plant, I've taken for it, from it many times. And I've re redone this pot many times as well. And it's come back with a vengeance. Look at how pretty she is. Um, I told you guys that it looks different depending on how much sun it gets. This one gets um, more like a late afternoon sun. Maybe a little, maybe it starts like around 2 o'clock. Um, and then on, I'm not sure, I have to observe it, but I can tell that it looks, you can see it just looks different than my other ones that get a lot more sun. The leaves tend to be more stretched out and plumper. So I don't know, but it looks really, really pretty. And then these flapjacks are so old. 
um yeah i mean they look good i don't want them to flower yet because you know but they produce so many pups too so i don't even know if i'll miss one once it flowers and these as well my planter box they look kind of a little sad i need to redo them look one's falling apart i need to i think i'm going to tackle that in the fall i'm going to just take everything out and redo it and see what happens i mean i don't want to touch my other ones because i don't have any issues with those they look good they look fine so i want to leave them alone but this one can use a little revamping and maybe the other one as well but um look at over there it looks so pretty so that's it for now guys um i hope that i was able to i don't know teach you something <laughs> learn something in this off this video i don't know but thank you guys so much for always watching my channel i think gosh it's been i've been doing it for four years thank you for your support i know i slowed down summer was just so hot uh, but fall's coming and i catch myself now spending a little bit more time outside so i just know that hopefully i'm gonna be doing more videos and taking care of my plants more in the fall um thank you so much guys you guys have a blessed day bye guys